Hey, it's Mr. Brown. I'm gonna demonstrate using the Affinia 3D printers to 3D print. So right now, I've got my little keychain example I'm gonna use. You're going to need a flash drive, and you're going to export that to the flash drive so you can take that to the computer with the 3D printer. So I'm gonna plug in my flash drive into my computer. If anything pops up, you can just hit cancel. So I need to export an STL file. STL stands for stereolithography. It's just a standard type of 3D printing file. So I'm going to go to File, Export to CAD Format. From here, Save In. I'm going to find the flash drive. So drop this down, find the USB drive. For the save type as, you need to make sure you drop down to STL files at the bottom there. And then I'm gonna hit options. I just wanna double check that it's in millimeters. If it's not in millimeters, just check, make sure it's in millimeters. Most 3D printing software is in millimeters, so it just makes it easier. And then for your file name, put your name and whatever it is. So I'm gonna put brown keychain. Don't just put keychain or whatever you're making because there are several hundred people using these 3D printers, using these flash drives. So there we go. I have saved it to the flash drive. I'm just going to double check that it's there. So I'm going to my USB drive. So I just click that little folder, go to my USB drive. There it is right there, brown keychain. That just saves the step in case it doesn't work. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to bring it over to the 3D printer computers. So wherever the 3D printers are, they may or may not be in this exact same location. All right, so these are the Affinia 3D printers. If it is off, the power switch is in the back right, right here. So you just use a little switch, turn that on very first time you turn it on you have to do what's called initializing it and you can either do that on the screen right here or you can do it in the software and what the initializing does is it just kind of sets it up let's right. close that so my flash drive i'm going to plug it into my computer So this one is going to use Affinia Studio. So it's right here on the desktop called Affinia Studio. I'm just going to double click to open that. All right, so Affinia Studio is loaded. I'm going to hit build. Uh, again, if you haven't initialized, hit that initialize button. Uh, you'll see the number right here. That's the serial number of the printer. So if you have to choose a different printer, uh, you can drop this down, but I'm going to add my model. So I'm going to add, add 3D model. I'm going to find my flash drive. So I might have to go to this PC. And why is that not working? All right, there's my USB drive, brown keychain, open, and here's my keychain. If any of those pop up, just close them up. So now a couple issues that I'm gonna have to fix. I can't just hit print right now. So if I look at this, um, the regular left mouse button, hold that down to orbit, right click, pan, scroll wheel, zoom. If I look at this, knowing that the printer prints from the bottom up, I see that I've got this big gap right here. I've got all these holes. So what I need to do is I need to take this and I need to lay it down. All of those controls are up here on my top right over here. Over here. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna lay this down flat. So when I click on this, I've got the rotate button. And this you know, might just be trial and error. Like if I rotate this, don't grab it and do this because it might put it at a weird angle. So I'm going to undo that. But use these minus 90s, 45s, and really just the minus 90 and plus 90. So if I hit minus 90, that's not what I want. 
So then I can switch between my x-axis, my y-axis, and my z-axis. So in this case, I want my y-axis. I'm gonna hit 90, it's still upside down. All right. So now it is flat on the bottom, that's how I want it. But you can see it's raised up above the bed of the printer. So that's not gonna work. So I need to put it down flat. I'm gonna hit this move button. I'm gonna hit this button right here in the middle between the x, y, and z that says, drop to print bed and if I do that you'll see this just like that so now it's flat onto my print bed if I want to see how much time this is going to take I can come over here to print and I can go down here to preview and what it's going to do you'll see up top here it's slicing it it's chopping it into different layers so this right now it's going to take 22 minutes right there and I can actually sit and look at the preview right here if I hit play you can see how it's going to build it up kind of layer by layer that first little part is called the raft that helps it stick to the plate uh, that you'll just break off later and just throw it away and then you'll be left with the nice part right here so this right here 22 minutes if I like this I can go ahead and hit print and that would send it to the printer uh, what might happen is if your piece is too big so right here I've got the scale tool and you can scale it, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. So if I had something, let's say about that big, and if I wanted to print this, I'm going to go to file, uh, print, I'm going to go to preview. It's thinking, and when I take a look at this now, it says that's going to take one and a half hours, 1.5 hours right there. Now you and I know you're not going to fit a 1.5 hour print into our class period so you're gonna need to shrink it down so I'm gonna hit exit preview I'm gonna click my piece I'm gonna scale it and just grab this top arrow after you move it make it bigger or smaller such that it will finish during the class period All right. so again when I like it however it's gonna be I will hit print and print I can hit confirm it's going to do some thinking and it's going to send it off to the printer now with the printer which you will see screen here so this screen says hey it's gonna take 14 minutes 55 seconds because I made it a little bit smaller this screen now it is on it looks like it's maybe doing something, but also maybe looks like it's frozen, not doing anything. If you look right here in the very corner, you can see that temperature is going up. It's going to take a few minutes. It's going to heat both the bed and it's going to heat the extruder up in there. So here, let me open this one and show you. So this bed heats up, this extruder heats up, and when it's all at the right temperature, it will start printing. All right.